If you clicked on this video, then that means you might be somebody that's dealing with a very unfortunate issue, a smelly dishwasher. For some, you might be greeted with a punch in the nose every time you open up a freshly run cycle, or more often your cups and dishes are left with a mild but definitely noticeable odor. Maybe you don't even smell it right away, only when you go to fill up a glass of water the next day. As frustrating and potentially embarrassing as this might be, just know that you're not alone. This is a very commonly reported issue across home improvement forums that spans both old and new dishwasher models alike. Today, we're quickly gonna cover the most common fixes, and at the end, I'm gonna share a suggestion that ended up being the solution to my issue, as well as many others who have tried everything else. So let's get to it. The most common sources of household odors are due to mold, mildew, and bacteria. These little guys make a constant effort to grace us with their presence. And unfortunately, there are many places in the home that are ideal environments for them to thrive. Most notably are places that involve moisture. Now, typical household chores involve things like cleaning your toilets or your showers, but cleaning something like a dishwasher or a washing machine may not seem logical. But over time, mineral deposits and other debris can work their way inside the nooks and crannies inside of these machines. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure the inside of our dishwasher is free from any buildup that may give the mold, mildew, or bacteria a place to thrive. The best way to do that is get in there yourself or find somebody small and willing and give it a good scrub down. A sponge soaked in warm soapy water will get the job done. Next, you'll need to find your dishwasher's filter and give that a good scrub as well. A quick Google search of your dishwasher's brand can tell you if your dishwasher has one and how to remove it. I clean mine at least once a month and it still comes out looking quite nasty. After a manual cleaning, you can finish the job off by placing a glass or a small bowl of vinegar upright in the top rack and running a regular cycle. You can also buy tablets like these from Afresh that are made specifically for this if you prefer, but I found that vinegar works just as well. Be sure not to go overboard as too much can damage the rubber components inside your dishwasher. If acid-based cleaners aren't doing the trick, you may need to switch to something with caustic properties like bleach or trisodium phosphate. While acids like vinegar are good at removing things like scale buildup, bleach is much more effective in destroying biofilms and other organic growth that is really the root of this issue. Next, we need to make sure the dishwasher drain line has been installed properly. Typically, your dishwasher will pump its wastewater through a flexible tube that connects to the pipes underneath your kitchen sink or to your garbage disposal if you have one. At the bare minimum, a properly installed drain line will have something called a high loop. This is where the flexible tube has been brought up as high as possible underneath the cabinet before coming back down to its drain connection. A high loop prevents the dirty wastewater from coming back down the drain line and potentially into your dishwasher. If your drain line doesn't have a high loop, you can make one by using a zip tie or other fastener to secure a portion of the line to the top of the cabinet. You may also be interested in installing an air gap if you don't already have one. This setup makes sure dirty wastewater cannot physically make it back into the drain line and are actually required by code in some areas. I'll drop a link in the description on a good video on how to install one. So now that we have our dishwasher sparkling clean, we need to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep our microscopic buddies from coming back. One of the most helpful things that we can do is to make sure to open your dishwasher door as soon as the dishwasher is done running a cycle. Microorganisms love a wet environment, so allowing the steam and moisture to quickly dissipate won't give them as much of a chance to grow. This is especially true of the newer high efficiency dishwashers that lack a heating element and rely on the stainless steel interior to condense away the steam. So for everyone that likes to start a load of dishes after dinner and then head off to bed, you may not be doing yourself any favors by leaving all that humidity inside the dishwasher all night long. Now, if you've made it this far and you've tried all those things to no avail, your issue may come down to this guy right here. That's right, the humble egg. It's such a versatile food that it finds its way into many dishes as either an ingredient or the main course itself. And while delicious, they are messy and nothing beats the convenience of throwing all those egg-coated bowls, pans, and plates into the dishwasher and letting it do the work for you. Now, for reasons I cannot explain, whenever I put anything that has egg residue on it into the dishwasher, doesn't matter if it's a lot or a little, I'm greeted with the familiar stink that took me so long to figure out. So if you're at your wits end like myself and many others, start hand washing anything that was used to cook or eat eggs and see if that gets rid of your issue. It may not, but there is a lot of anecdotal evidence that suggests that this is a thing. Now, my best guess is that it has something to do with the reaction between the detergent and the sulfur compounds in an egg, but again, like I said, that's just a guess. So hopefully something mentioned in this video helped you solve your issue, and if it did, drop a comment and let me know. Or, as always, if you have a suggestion that I didn't mention here that may help others, drop that too. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.